In this demonstration, we look at configuring IP version 6. First thing we'll do here is we'll go for IP config. What we can see through this IP config is we have an IP version 6 address, and what we also have as well as a link local address, which is the equivalent of the 169.254 address we will get with IP version 4. We can tell this because it starts with FA80. We can also get this information as well by using a PowerShell commandlet. So we do a get hyphen and then net IP and just hit the tab key. That'll fill in the rest of the information. And this will also give us exactly the same information. So we scroll this up a little bit. So we've issued a get hyphen net IP address and that returns back similar sort of information. So we can see the IP version 6 address and we can see the link local address as well. Next thing we'll do is we'll actually configure some IP version 6 settings. So I'll just come into Server Manager. In Server Manager, I'll go to Local Server, and then we'll come to the London Network Adapter. And what we'll do is we'll just come into the properties of the adapter, and what we'll do is we'll come down to TCP IP version 6, highlight the properties, and we'll just modify this IP address. And I'm going to modify this to FD00 colon quadruple A, quadruple B, quadruple C, and then we'll stick an A on the end. We'll have the subnet prefix length of 64 and we'll just specify for the preferred DNS server is we'll just specify the local host and then we'll select OK. And then what we'll do at this point here is we'll select close. Close down the network settings. Now what we also need to do as well is we just need to specify an IP version 6 address on one of our other boxes. So we'll just move over to the other server. Similar sort of thing, what we'll do at this point here is we'll just come to local server. We'll come down to our IP address settings. On our IP address settings, we'll come down to IP version 6 after going to the properties of the network adapter. Click the properties, and then what we'll do is we'll use the following IP version 6 address and just specify the address, the subnet length, and also as well the DNS server. And we specified FD00, quadruple A, quadruple B, quadruple C, colon, colon, 15, 64 bit for the subnet prefix length, and we've specified our other box as the preferred DNS server. Now we've specified all of this, we'll just select OK. Final thing to do is just test to make sure that our IP version 6 is working correctly. So we'll just come into PowerShell. And we'll just run this as administrator. And then what we'll do is we'll just ping using our IP version 6 addresses. So all we'll do at this point here is just make this a little bit easier to read. And the first thing we'll do here is just do an IP config. And just verify that we have an IP version 6 address, which we do. Next thing we'll do at this point here is just do a ping hyphen 6. And we'll just do a lon hyphen dc1. Hit return. So as we can see here, we're getting a reply back from the IP address that we set. And then what we'll do finally is we'll just verify that we can still ping with IP version 4, just to prove that the Windows Server operating system is indeed dual stack. And what we'd get is we get a reply back. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.